Want to win on eBay more often? Come check out the tips of this video. They'll definitely help. Hello my comic book lovers, this is Chris and this is my channel We Love Comics and today I'm going to help teach you a better way to be able to win on eBay and there's certain techniques that I use where I have such a great success rate that the only time I lose is when I'm not willing to spend as much as the price is going for. So um, I'm going to show you how you could win so much more than most people on eBay because the majority of people on eBay do not know how to bid properly in order to win. Now, as you could see, I picked a comic that I was interested in bidding on, and this is Captain America uh, issue number 100, which is his first solo series. Now, you see the bid at $86, and I saw the pictures. This is in pretty decent condition. So what I usually do first is I seek out books that I'm looking for. And I always go to the ending soonest because that's usually the best way. Another way is to look at the buy it nows and see if somebody placed a book on there where they just don't know the value of it and they just want to get rid of it. Not everybody that sells comics is a comic book collector. So this is what I'm going to do. The first thing I do is set it up ready to go for the price that I'm willing to pay for the maximum amount. So I'm going to put one sixteen ninety nine just to show. Now, even though I'm hitting place bid, I'm not making it official yet because you have to hit the confirm button. Now, what I always tell people is go to the highest price that you are willing to pay for it. Now, at $86, if nobody else bids, it won't automatically bid $116.99. It will go to what the previous bidder's highest amount is. So let's say the person that had the $86 bid said, I'll go as high as $90. Well, if nobody else bids, it will go up to either 96 or 97. So even though you're doing a higher amount, it won't automatically go to that because I know people ask that question a lot. Now, most people, when they bid, they tend to bid on their cell phones. And a lot of times, if you don't have, you know, good connections, you're going to have to bid earlier than you really want to. So the absolute best way to do it is on a home computer and especially if you still have a landline, which is what I use for this computer for this exact reason. Now, most people will bid between six and 10 seconds left on this on the auctions. Now, this obviously can apply for anything, including comics. So it doesn't have to be necessarily for comics. This is what I do. And I'll show you as the time goes down that I wait until there's three seconds left. Now, the reason for that is and you're taking a gamble because. There's no time to do another bid because once you find out you've either won or lost, there's nothing else you can do. So that's why I always put the maximum bid that I'm willing to spend for a book and then hope for the best. And if it doesn't, if I don't win, that means it went for higher than what I was willing to pay. And this is another thing I want to tell people. If you have a book that you're dying to get and there's plenty of people out there that base emotion on purchasing. First of all, do some reviews and check how much a current book is going for. And that's another thing that I did. I opened up another page, looked up what was sold already for this book, and I could see anything under $150 for this condition book, because it's around a 4.5 to a 5.0, is definitely a good price for this, considering what other people have paid. So if you have a book that you really want, or anything on eBay that you really want, don't overpay for it because there will always be other auctions that will be selling the book. And sometimes you can get even better deals. So go to your maximum amount, wait for the three seconds, and then place your bid. And if you win it for under what you were willing to pay, then you're going to be very happy. If you lose, that just means it went for higher than what you were willing to pay, and you just wait for the next time. Now, you do have to be patient because there are plenty of times where it could take weeks or even months to find another book but patience is a virtue and i've done that many a time where i've had to wait almost over a year for another opportunity to come along but it was worth it so i'm going to pause the video right here and we're going to wait until it's around five seconds left to start so you could see what happens at the end of this auction okay so i wanted to wait until there was 15 seconds left so you can check so what i do is just basically hover over the confirm button 
and I just wait until it hits to the three second mark. Ready? Hit confirm. And there we go. So as you can see, even though I did a bid, as you could see, of $116.99, I ended up winning it at $89. So the person who made that last bid did not place a higher bid than $90, and I ended up winning. So I got a very key book for a very good price. So as you can see, with the three seconds left, even if they were people watching or the person that made that last bid was watching, by the time he realizes that person lost, it's already too late. So there's nothing you can do. So hopefully this video will help you. This is a secret that I can easily keep to myself and keep winning. So I'm not really, you know, helping myself by giving this out, but my channel is all about trying to help people. So if you want to see other videos like this, uh, give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to this channel, wait until the end of this video, because if you are a subscriber and you comment on my videos often, I do a surprise shout out on every video. So if you want to be a part of that, you just got to subscribe and you got to leave comments because the more I recognize your channel name, the faster you will get that shout out. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, check out my other videos. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. My name is Chris. I hope this video helps.